The decreasing trend in ionization energy going down a group is due to a increasing repulsions among electrons in the valence shell, b increasing effective nuclear charge, c decreasing number of core electrons, or d increasing size of valence shell. All of the atoms of elements belonging to the same group have the same valence configuration. The number of electrons in the valence shell is the same. Therefore, repulsions among electrons in the valence shell is not increasing. In fact, since the valence shells get larger, the electrons would be further away from one another and that lessens the repulsions. Therefore, choice A is wrong. There is an increasing number of core electrons which would tend to increase the push that a valence electron would feel from the core. So choice C is wrong. The trend of increasing number of core electrons is offset by an increase in the number of protons in the nucleus. Therefore, the effective nuclear charge is essentially the same and choice B is wrong. The correct answer is D. As you go down a group, the valence shell gets larger. That means the electrons are further away from the nucleus. Since the force that pulls them in is electrostatic, the strength of the force decreases. Here's a diagram to help you visualize the trend. In this diagram, we try to compare beryllium and magnesium. Both belong to group 2A. Beryllium is in the second period, while magnesium is in the third period. Note that they both have two valence electrons, but magnesium has more electrons in the core and magnesium also has more protons. In this diagram, we represent the nucleus with the black circle in the middle. The core electrons is in the small green shell around the nucleus. The valence electrons are in the outer green shell. Since the nucleus is positive, it will attract the electrons. A valence electron will feel an inward pull from the protons. But electrons repel each other so a valence electron will also feel an outward push from the core electrons and an outward push from the other electrons in the valence shell. In other words, the inward pull of, on a valence electron by the nucleus is lessened due to the repulsions from the other electrons. We could say that there is a shielding effect. The electrons feel an effective nuclear charge, but not the full nuclear charge. Because beryllium and magnesium belong to the same group, the increase in number of core electrons is offset by the increase in the number of protons in the nucleus. So the effective nuclear charge that a valence electron on either atom would feel is essentially the same.